If you're considering WGU Software Engineering Program, watch this. I just graduated last month and these are some of the things that no one tells you, good and bad. So some, some backstory, I did this degree while working full time in tech. Uh, it took me three years in totality and I've been in tech for seven going on eight years at this point. So first things first, what is WGU? I won't spend too much time here because I assume you know this if you're looking into this, but Western Governors University is an online, self-paced, competency-based college. Uh, there's no brick and mortar presence. You go at your own pace and you're graded and evaluated based on your skills and how you apply the knowledge that you've learned. Truth number one, while it is self-paced, it's harder than it sounds. Because there are no deadlines, there really isn't any pressure to deliver at any given time. You're really on your own. And so if you're disciplined about the way that you work and the projects that you complete, you'll be finished in no time. But in the same token, it's very easy to slack off and just, um, you know, really chill out and not go at the pace, not go at a, d d chill out and not go as fast or as hard as you'd like. Truth number two is you'll teach yourself maybe 60 to 70% of the material. It's competency based. So the curriculum at WGU isn't lecture heavy. It's really, they give you um, an assignment, a project, they give you some resources to learn on your own. Maybe some lectures, some pre-recorded lectures, some videos, um, and or some textbook material that you can read through. Um, however, you're tested and graded based on your understanding of the material. So ultimately it's on you to learn these things and to teach yourself and to test yourself on the knowledge that you've learned. Truth number three, is WGU is really big on the projects that you complete. So um, at the end of your time at WGU, you'll come out of it with a, portfor a portfolio with a bunch of the projects that you've completed and not necessarily a GPA score or high test scores. Um, in my opinion, this is a plus because you can show employers um, that you've actually used the technologies, you actually used some of the things that you learned and not just a number or a grade. Lastly, truth number four, the ROI on WGU is insane if you treat it like a launch pad. And so um, what I've noticed is you get what you put out of what you get what you put into it. And so, so what I notice is there is a large community of WGU alumni. And I see this whenever I see I come across new job listings, then I'll see on LinkedIn that there's at least always one alumni at a company that I'm looking at. And so what this tells me is the people who attend WGU are probably um, go-getters. And, um, you know, there's are people who are out there in the world, they're working professionals, they're busy, but they also put in the time to get get an education and um, have some formal education under, the, under their belt. So here are some tips that I wish I knew when I first started WGU three years ago. Uh, tip number one is you should you should definitely be taking advantage of the transfer credits from the various third-party institutions that partners with WGU. So things like Sophia.com, Study.com. Uh, these services allow you to uh, take some classes that are credited and, and that count for classes at WGU and transfer them in um, before you start. And so effectively, you're reducing your, your college tuition cost by uh, going to these third-party services first. Tip number two, um, you should develop a schedule and a routine for how you're gonna tackle your assignments and your coursework. Uh, and so in my case, I, I studied and did all my work uh, on the, during the evenings and on the weekends only, because I work full time. And so um, once you kind of get settled in, it, it does get a little crazy. You do have to sacrifice some things like social outings, some things like social outings and things of that sort, but ultimately it'd be worth it. Uh, tip number three, don't get discouraged. So um, I've met a lot of people who, you know, maybe they fall off, fall off the wagon for a couple of weeks or months and then they start getting down on themselves and it's easy to get discouraged. But ultimately, if you fall off, just get back on the wagon, keep chucking away and um, eventually you'll you'll be finished. Tip number four uh, is just have fun. Enjoy the process, man. Uh, WGU was such a big part of my routine. And now that it's gone, I in a weird way, I kind of miss it. <laughs> um, it was really it was really fun being able to learn new things on a daily basis and, and to feel like you're progressing towards something. So I would say ultimately, man, just, just enjoy the process. 
um, and uh, and you'll be done before you know it. Before I end this video, I wanna wanna show this off real quick. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, all that work, baby. All that work for this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, I wish you, I wish you the very best, and I wish you luck on your journey. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.